everyone, Zoe here from Fit Pet Physio and today we're going to be speaking about hind limb muscle building and why hind limb muscle mass and strength is important for your horses. Um, so let's start by looking at why hind limb muscle mass and strength is important in our horses. Um, so our horses should look equal in front and behind when viewed from the side. If your horse appears to have less hind limb muscle than forelimb muscle, then you're going to want to build up your horse's hind limb muscle as without them the forelimb muscles are having to work over time to keep our horses moving. If you uh, don't, you really are setting your horse up for a fall limb injury, especially seen as horses naturally should power through from their hind limbs, and this is what we want to promote in everything we do. So even if your horse looks equal in front and behind, it's still important to keep up with your hind limb exercises to ensure that your horse has good hind limb strength uh, within those muscles so that they can keep powering through from behind. You'll notice that almost all of the exercises I've talked through in this series promote a movement pattern that our horses uh, would naturally already be using. And that's because using movement patterns outside our horse's natural way of going are more likely to cause injury. So it is important no matter what exercises you're doing, um, e.g. Uh, ridden or lunged or long reined or in hand, um, that your horse is working through from behind um, in that natural way that they would normally do. And this also encourages your horse um, uh, to engage their core and a way of helping them to do this is to include lots of direct and progressive transitions as well as transitions within the gate to get them really engaging their hind, hind limbs and the core. Um, so what can you do? Using a walk can to warm up, as we talked about um, in our first session of this series, um, encourages impulsion and sacroiliac joint range of motion and is a great way to get your session off to the best start. This is because it allows your horse to move freely and means that they have to step through from behind to get the correct canter transition which means they have to engage the hind limb muscles, which means you've already got the hind limb engagement before you're asking for anything more. Um, you can also use chain, uh, training aids to enhance your hind limb and core engagement, um, but be sure to check with a professional instructor and physio uh, that you have them correctly fitted to your horse before using them. Um, if you've noticed uneven muscle mass between your horse's forelimbs and hind limbs, then hill work is going to be a go-to, as we discussed last session with the forelimb. Um, so as we work uphill, our horse's hind limb muscles must engage. So this is a great way to get our horses working from behind and gives you a good basis to work from for the rest of your horse's exercises. And downhill work, as we talked about last time, does the same for the forelimbs. Again, our Cavaletti exercises are going to be a go-to if you need to improve range of motion and strength in the muscles. Um, but they also improve muscle mass in three different ways. Uh, so they improve postural stabiliser muscles like the core um, and muscles that travel over a joint uh, via isometric muscle contractions where there's no change in muscle length. They strengthen the braking muscles as the limbs are lowered via eccentric work and the flexor muscles via concentric muscle shortening. The use of poles also challenges our horse's proprioception, especially as we increase intensity of the exercise. Again, we can use weight shifting exercises, and they are as simple as they sound, just shifting the weight laterally from side to side and cranial cordially front to back. And this encourages weight bearing on all the limbs, as well as engagement of those postural stabiliser muscles again around each joint. So this improves the muscle's strength and mass of the support in each joint, meaning they're less likely to incur joint injuries. So for those of you whose horses aren't balanced each way, to find, so you found different size muscles on each limb, this is going to be key to your plan. And it's really important to remember that your, heart, your horse can't work through from behind if they have a weak core. So if your horse is struggling with their hind limbs, be sure to make sure their core is strong too. So take another look at our core um, session that we did.